Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will go ahead and continue with the, the topic that we were doing yesterday, which is public finance. Now, today we will uh, ask this question: How maximum social advantage is achieved? Maximum social advantage kaise achieve hota hai? Wo point hum aaj discuss karenge. So. Mentioning yesterday, there are three fundamental principles that you must understand. Wait a pehla principle. Likho. The first principle says that Jobhi aap public expenditure kar rahe ho, whatever public expenditure you are doing, it has to be done till a point where its benefit is equal to the sacrifice. Take Sacrifice kya hai? जब मैंने एक फ्लाईओवर बनाया तो मैंने अपना मनी लूज किया आई एम यूजिंग माई मनी टू मेक अ फ्लाई ओवर वॉट्स द बेनिफिट दैट पीपल कैन नाउ ड्राइव स्मूथली बेटर द बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द लास्ट यूनिट ऑफ मनी स्पेंड बाय द गवर्नमेंट मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द सैक्रिफाइस डन बाय द गवर्नमेंट दैट्स द मनी स्पेंड बाय द गवर्नमेंट तो प्लीज राइट डाउन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर should be carried on up to the point where the benefit derived from the last unit of the money spent by the state is equal to the sacrificed imposed in raising that unit एक बारी फिर से समझ लेते हैं वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट एनी एक्सपेंडिचर देखो एग्जाम्पल ले लेते हैं हमने एक फ्लाई ओवर बनाया वी बिल्ट अ फ्लाई ओवर द लास्ट मनी दैट आई एम स्पेंडिंग ऑन दैट फ्लाई ओवर दैट इज गिविंग सम बेनिफिट टू द पब्लिक दिस फ्लाई ओवर इज बिल्ट यूजिंग द टैक्स कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम पब्लिक The collection of tax was through toll. Suppose, कोई पहले का टोल था उससे कलेक्ट हुआ पैसा उससे हमने एक नया फ्लाई ओवर बनाया टू कलेक्ट मनी वी हैड टू एम्प्लॉय सम पीपल सो वी वर गोइंग अड एंड वी वर स्पेंडिंग सम मनी टू कलेक्ट दिस टैक्स टू टू गेट दिस रेवेन्यू दिस इज द सैक्रिफाइज अमाउंट टू कलेक्ट द रेवेन्यू ना If I am sacrificing some money to collect the revenue, it must, and I am using that money to build the flyover. It must give me the amount of benefit at least equal to the sacrifice that I am doing, the sacrifice that I am imposing. So, much me aari hai ba? That's the first point. The second point. Beta resource jo hote hain state ke, wo bahut zyada alag alag heads ke andar aate hain, different expenditures ke andar aate hain. we have to ensure that whatever whenever you do an expenditure you get a satisfaction from it you get utility from it we have to ensure that the resources of state must be distributed such that the marginal satisfaction is the same please likho beta the return the resources not return the resources of the state should be so distributed on different heads of expenditure that the marginal return of satisfaction 
from each of them is the same. Third point and last point. Same. Ye ho gaya humara, jo bhi resources hai state ke, unko hume is tarike se alag lag expenditures me dana hai, ki unse jo hume marginal satisfaction mil rahi hai, wo same ho. Third point keta hai, ki jo taxes hai state ke, jo revenue hai state ka, usko bhi hume is tarike se distribute karna hai, ki jo humari usse marginal pain hai taxation ki. When, whenever I pay money, there is some marginal pain involved. So, the marginal pain is tax pay karne ki, wo har taxpayer ke liye equal. Ho. So, please write down the third point. Beta, this all can come in exam. The taxes should be so distributed that the marginal utility of the money pain is equal to all taxpayers. Okay. It is equal to all taxpayers. Is this clear? This is a little theoretical, but as we progress, you will see that Actually, it is very, very interesting. Abhi thodi shurvaat hi kar rahe hai. thoda sa aapko lagega ki what is this? But as we progress, this is an interesting part. So, beta, now we want to go ahead and we want to uh, understand this thing uh, further. And in order to go ahead and talk about it, we will talk about two things, beta. The first thing I want to talk about is called public expenditure. Do chizangi, a public expenditure, a public revenue. What is public expenditure? Public expenditure, Jobi government ka karcha hoja, woi public expenditure. Hai. So, whatever expenditure is incurred by central, state, and local government. Whatever expenditure is incurred by central, state or local government, that is called public expenditure. Now, this public expenditure basically is, uh, you know, earlier it was not very necessary. If we talk classical theory, ki baat kare, then the classicals always mention that public expenditure is not important, right? Because the role of government was very limited. So, in the 19th century, public expenditure was was a very, it had a very limited scope. But when we talk about the 20th century, the role of public expenditure is very, very important. And it has been increasing over time. So, so the question is, why do we need public expenditure? What is the role of public expenditure, right? So the first thing is the role in the role of the public expenditure is uh, if we want to go ahead and we want to do industrial development, if we want to develop the industries, we need public expenditure, right? The second why we need public expenditure is social security measures. By jitni pension aati hai, wo sab bhi to public expenditure ke thui aati hai. So if I want to secure, if I want to provide social security to people, pension is just one example of it. Then I also need public expenditure. Then the third reason why I need public expenditure, most important is defense. Then I need public expenditure for urbanization. If I want to urbanize the economy, then I need public expenditure. Development of agriculture. But jo soch pao, wo sab kuch mein hi public expenditure ki zarurat hai. Give any, any, think of anything. Jaysay, think of nationalization of trade. Think of Development of agriculture, think of defense, think of urbanization, you think of anything, think of economic development for that matter. For any reason, public expenditure is very, very important. We need public expenditure. Okay, now we will do a hypothesis. Aaj in, this lecture, in, the, in this lecture, 
we will take the first hypothesis, which is my Wagner's view. And then we will talk about Wiseman Peacock hypothesis and all other different hypotheses which can come in exam. So the first hypothesis beta that we are going to take today, this is known as Wagner's view on public expenditure. So in exam, they can give you any statement and ask who gave this statement. Then you should know it was given by Wagner. Hena? Otherwise, uh, they can simply ask you what was Wagner's view on public expenditure. And then you should know what exactly Wagner stated. So Peter, jo Wagner tha, he was a German economist. Okay. And he, he said that any nation will experience economic development only only because of its um, public sector okay so because of the different activities of the different layers of the government we will go ahead and see development in the economy okay opposite be true hai. that as you will see development in the economy you will see that there has to be an increasing role of the government. So please write down. Very important theory. So write down. Wagner argued that a nation will experience an increase um, in economic development and growth economic development and growth so we can we can just rewrite this so wagner argued that a nation will experience that as a nation will experience economic development and growth, it will experience an increase in the activities of public sector. Samjho baat ko. Wagner ne bola ki jaise jaise aap economic <coughs> development dekho ge. आप ये पाओगे कि साथ में उस इकोनॉमी का पब्लिक सेक्टर पक्का ग्रो कर रहा होगा ठीक है सो प्लीज राइट डाउन अकॉर्डिंग टू वैगनर आई एम यू नो फ्रेमिंग द सेंटेंसेस राइट अवे दैट इज बाय सम टाइम्स यू हैव टू लुक एट दैट ग्रामर ठीक है देयर आर इनहेरेंट टेंडेंसीज for the activities of different layers of government to increase both intensively and extensively. What I mean to say from it. तो बेसिकली बहुत सारे इकोनॉमिस्ट ने शुरू से एक रिलेशनशिप क्रिएट करने की कोशिश की है बिटवीन द लेवल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर मल्टीपल इकोनॉमिस्ट दे हैव ट्राइड टू क्रिएट अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डेवलपमेंट एंड एक्सपेंडिचर वैगनर वाज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु कुड कम विद सच अ बिग थ्योरेटिकल फाउंडेशन जिसने पूरे को फाउंड किया अच्छे से बनाया एक जेन यू नो एक ये बताया कि एक इंक्रीजिंग एक अपवर्ड रिलेशनशिप है थियोरिटिकल रिलेशनशिप है दैट वॉज एक्चुअली वैगनर सो वैगनर एक्चुअली स्टेटेड ही वॉज द फर्स्ट वन टू फाउंड दिस दैट यू नो इफ यू सी ग्रोथ इन द इकोनॉमी मतलब बैकग्राउंड में जो पब्लिक सेक्टर होगा वो काफी ज्यादा ग्रो किया होगा द पब्लिक सेक्टर वुड हैव प्लेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द इकोनॉमी and wagner he divided the public expenditure in two parts so he divided 
public expenditure in two parts theek hai ji the first part he called as the part for um, internal and external security internal and external security and the second part he called that as expenditure for cultural and welfare so what he said is that jo bhi jaise ye ye cheez aati hai jaise for example aapka ho gaya health transport uh, banking and other expenditures ye sare expenditure jo ho gaye aapke right uh, these are the expenditures which will be included in the welfare right like health education transport banking so you can give an example of expenditures like health education transport and banking these are the examples of cultural and welfare expenditure and when we talk about expenditures for um security wo defense ho gaya right so what he said is we can divide the expenditures in two parts these are the two things that um uh, the government would be spending on and when we talk about any economy as the economy is growing then the economy has to prevent attack from the outer economies prevent attack from the outer world and at the same time it has to go ahead and do capital equipment apne aap ko badhana bhi hai aur bahar se protect bhi karna hai so you need to have both internal and external security and at the same time you need to ensure the welfare of the people so wagner he saw that basically great um expenditure will go in all these things right there will be a huge amount of expenditure which will be spent on these activities and this is what he said that as an economy grows jaise jaise ek economy grow karegi ye jitne bhi expenditure hain chahe wo internal external security par ho ya wo welfare par ho all these expenditures would increase and as these expenditures will increase then economy will grow is this clear so basically this is uh, the uh, wagner's expenditure public expenditure theory काफी इम्पॉर्टेंट पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर थ्योरी है ये अगेन दिस मे नॉट कम वेरी डायरेक्टली बट इवन इफ इट कम्स लाइक अ स्टेटमेंट टू यू यू शुड नो हु गेव वॉट स्टेटमेंट यू शुड नो हु वॉज द फाउंडिंग पर्सन हु ऑब्जर्व दैट एज जी डी पी इंक्रीजेस देर इज इंक्रीज गवर्नमेंट इन्वॉल्वमेंट अगर ऐसा कुछ आ जाता है देन यू शुड नो दैट दिस इज द पर्सन सॉरी हु गेव दिस स्टेटमेंट राइट absolutely clear any doubt in this okay so now uh, we need to go ahead and look further and the next thing that we want to go ahead and talk in the next lecture that is going to be about the canons of public expenditure canon kya hote hain aur kahan kahan hote hain that is what we will discuss in the next